We have a number of upcoming events um, and webinars um, that we'll be um, hosting. And then we also have a whole series of uh, webinars that we just completed. Um, now, if you have a, some additional questions, we'll be sure to uh, address those um, um, uh, after the, uh, the webinar concludes. Uh, one of which would be the subdivision modeling with Weaverbird. Um, as you can see, a couple of the things that I just showed there, um, being able to prepare your model, your meshes for 3D printing, thickening, smoothing, etc. Some really exciting stuff. Um, today's uh, webinar, Algorithmic Design and Grasshopper. And uh, we have three other webinars um, coming up um, as part of our winter series. And the um, Applied Data Trees webinar, um, which was rescheduled uh, from a week ago, um, will be returning as the first um, webinar in our spring series, um, which will uh, be uh, in, in late January uh, to early February will be the first one in that series. Um, so dy dynamic behaviors, uh, sorry, rather, introduction to processing. Um, this will be on December 28th. This is a kind of a, um, our gift to you, I guess you could say, uh, in the holiday season and spirit. Um, we are going to host a really fun, exciting introduction to the processing environment. Um, again, that is free, um, and uh, we it's almost full. So if you're interested in um, attending, please um, sign up quickly before it, we reach our, our limit. Um, and then following that, on the 4th, we'll actually have um, a, uh, a webinar um, dynamic behaviors and processing, which is going to go much, much further into class structures and working with some really interesting um, uh, tools in, in processing. The idea being that in the spring, we'll return to Grasshopper again and begin to um, look at how to take processing data, uh, simulation, uh, et cetera, to drive Grasshopper uh, parametric models. On the 11th of January, we'll be doing an introduction to simulation using Kangaroo, um, which is going to be a good, good time. Uh, we, we use Kangaroo quite a lot. It's an amazing tool. Um, and uh, we're really excited to, um, to be doing the webinar on that. Um, our previous webinars, um, again, subdivision modeling with Grasshopper and Weaverbird. Um, uh, that's definitely something I think that would be um, of interest to you if you wanted to go further with the meshes. We had a uh, webinar on dynamic patterning in Grasshopper, um, which was a, a lot of fun looking at fields and force objects and how those could be used to drive patterns. Um, working with data trees in Grasshopper was um, our um, really intermediate level, uh, I guess you could say, uh, data trees webinar, and then developing Python components in Grasshopper. Um, somebody had a question asking if there would be a hoop snake um, a webinar. And, um, actually, I, I would encourage you, um, not that hoop snake uh, is not a, a great tool or anything, but um, to consider looking at Python as an alternative. Um, when you start to, to look at issues of iteration, recursion, uh, or nonlinear systems, looping, um, et cetera, any of these things which are more um, uh, used in, in a scripted or a contextual syntax environment, um, I, I prefer to go ahead and, and use something like Python in the Grasshopper environment to facilitate that. So I want to thank you all for attending this afternoon. Uh, you know, it's really um, a pleasure for us to, to spend this time uh, with you guys on Friday afternoon to uh, share a little bit about uh, what we know uh, using these tools and, and, and hopefully uh, facilitate um, you know the learning um, for you as well, make that a little bit easier for you to learn uh, uh, some of these tools and techniques. Uh, please remember you can contact, uh, connect with us on Facebook, uh, as well as sign up for our newsletter to uh, get the most up-to-date um, information um, about what we have going on. Our Facebook page is here, facebook.com backslash mood collective, um, and our newsletter can be uh, subscribed to as well from um, our Facebook page. So again, I wanted to say thank you all for attending. Uh, again, really, we uh, really enjoy this time with you. And uh, I'm going to leave the webinar open um, for uh, a little bit. So if you have any additional questions that you would like to ask, I'm, I'm going to be here, and I'll be more than happy to, uh, to reply. So thank you again, and uh, we look forward to you uh, participating in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.